Hello everybody, Kevin here. Thank you for joining me on Kevin's Way Works. So what we have right here is a Kohler SV725 engine. So what we're about to do now is adjust the clearances between the rocker arm and the end of the valve. And to do that, we first have to be at top dead center of the compression stroke. And the way to find that with the cylinder on the engine like it is, is to rotate the engine until we feel compression through the hole. So let's go ahead and do that. Right now it is at top dead center on the compression stroke, but I'm gonna rotate it back for us a little bit just to simulate being in the correct location. So I don't have the spark plug in. There's no spark plug on the other side either. And that's gonna help us be able to do this a lot more easily. So I'm going to put my finger over this hole and I'm starting to feel compression. Can you hear that? I'm letting a little air out. So now, compression, no compression. So that tells us we are at the top dead center or in range of the top dead center of the compression stroke. So now to be sure that we are in the correct position, I'm gonna take a screwdriver, stick it in the spark plug hole gently, and I'm gonna feel the piston head with it, and I'm just gonna rotate. So we're, I'm going backwards, we're going down, we're coming up, going down again. So right there, we are at the exact top dead center of the compression stroke. So the manual says 0.005 inches, which is equivalent to 0.127 millimeters. So I have my feeler gauge here. I'm going to get out 0.005. The specs say it should be between 0.004 and 0.006, with 0.05 being ideal. So basically it says to start with 0.005 so we have a lot more than 0.005, which means we need to adjust the intake valve. And let's check the exhaust valve. And we have a lot more than 0.05 on that as well. So we need to adjust those. So I'm gonna just move up here to a bigger gauge. I'm just curious to see what this is at. Let's go up to 0 0.010. 0 0.010. This thing is way out of spec. So 0 0.010 does not fit in the exhaust valve, but it does in the intake. So we definitely have to adjust these. All right, we have a little storm coming through here, so I had to set up some lighting and hopefully you'll be able to see that. Okay, so the way this works is the, the outside here is actually the adjuster. The inside is what you loosen and tighten to hold everything in place. So basically, we're gonna loosen the inside. I'm gonna get a wrench. This is a 13 millimeter, half inch is probably better because it, half inch is just a little bit less than 13 millimeters and we'll go see if a half inch fits on there better because a 13 might be a little looser than I want. How's that for lighting? That looks better. So like I said this is your adjustment. The inside is what holds everything down in place. So let's go ahead and So I have a half inch wrench, and that fits really good, and I'm going to hold this with the half inch wrench, or not, can't do it from that side, I got to do it kind of lefty here, and then we're going to loosen the center just a bit. 
And now you're going to take your feeler gauge. So we're going to take our .005 inch feeler gauge. And we want this to have just a little bit of drag. And so a couple things you can try to do. You can try to turn this by hand. And right there we've got some good drag. So now what we're going to do, we're going to try to hold the nut on the outside in place while tightening up that center stud. Sometimes you have to do this a few times until you get it where you want it. Because uh, this, oops, see I already moved it. This has to be like exact. A little tiny movement is a huge amount of difference in how tight it is. So let's tighten that down and we'll take our feeler gauge again Now to me that's a little too loose. We can try .06, which is the max recommended for this. So .06 won't go in, but I want to get that a little tighter. So while, while holding the center stud, we're going to loosen that back up. Just a hair. Tighten that just a hair. Now let's see what we have. Alright, I like that. It's much better. So just a little bit of drag. So now what we're going to do is we're going to torque that center. And that torque on that center stud is 70 inch-pounds. So I found a Torx that fits in there and I can actually use my torque wrench on this. So let's get that torque to 70 inch-pounds. Torque wrench set at 70 inch-pounds. Now I'm going to hold this in place while I tighten with the torque wrench just in case it wants to turn. So, not much, not much torque at all. And now we're going to double check it with our .005 feeler gauge. And that is, that is perfect, guys. So that's our intake. Now let's do our exhaust. Our exhaust is a little loose. Let's try .006. So, too loose. Let's go ahead and loosen that up. Grab our feeler gauge. I think I have to unloosen that a little more because I can't adjust the nut. So, too much. Right about there. Hold that in place. Oh, it's really hard to hold that in place. Okay. Let's see what we got. I've got just a little drag. Let's try .006, and 06 will not go in. So I think we got that. That is perfect. So if you want, you can just give it one last little torque just to make sure. And guys, that is how you do it. That is how you adjust the valve clearance on a Kohler Courage 725 engine. So if you found that helpful, it'd be awesome if you could give it a like, subscribe, and thank you guys for watching Kevin's Way Works.